hey guys welcome to my channel so today in this video we are going to learn about a javascript library called aos which stands for animate and scroll library by the help of this library you can add beautiful effect to your websites and it's very simple to use so this is the website uh, for aos as i scroll down you can see uh, some effect here happening right so this is all because of aos the github link is this this is the github link uh, one example um, of site which is using aos library is this questionpro.com here you can see as i scroll down the animation can be seen on this page right so this is uh, this site is using aos In this um, tutorial, we will be creating this simple site. We will add AOS to our project here, right? See, upon scrolling, you can see some animation happening here to the cards, right? So, this is all because of AOS. So, let's get started. So, here I have my index.html file. Let me add this code here. You don't have to worry about the code, it's a simple code, like it's using Bootstrap. These are the bootstrap CDN. Then after on container, it's using some text here. Then after uh, it's using bootstrap card classes here. So save this and go to our browser. Refresh. So this is so this is the result, right? And no animations are occurring here. So we need to add AOS library to our uh, project here. Now for that you can go to uh, github page of EOS. So this is the github page. I'll add the link to uh, this in the description. So the first step is you need to add uh, COS. So copy this and uh, add here. You can add this uh, just below uh, the bootstrap CDN links. Save this. Then after Then after you need to add uh, this script here. This is the uh, EO, this is for aos.js, and you also need this aos.init, which is for initializer. This is the uh, you don't you shouldn't forget this step. So copy this and add here. Add script right before closing the body tag. Right. So so let me add it here before the body tag. All right, save it. AOS init it has uh, some global settings here. Yeah, as you can see here, you can also uh, modify these settings, right? But for this tutorial, I'll be using uh, this default one. So now we can do console dot log window. Save this and see it on the console. So here you can see uh, the window function here, right? Now we are all ready to work with AOS in our uh, project. Now in order to add uh, the animation, we can use this uh, attribute data hyphen AOS. You can copy this and then after add here. So for the first card, if I want this uh, animation, let me zoom this a bit. So, fade up has been added here. So, for the second, let me add uh, fade down. Fade down here. Save this. See the result on the browser. Refresh. So, here you can see uh, some animation is occurring here, right? We can also uh, give set the time interval here like if i go down so here you can add this attribute data hyphen aos hyphen duration copy then after add it here similarly you can add it here save this and now refresh the page so the animation is occurring for three seconds since we have added 
the duration of three seconds here right similarly we can add other attributes like uh, so this one fade dash right copy so add it here then after here we can add a uh, fade dash left here also let me add the duration so that it will be easier for you to see the animation right save it and see the result on browser refresh so this is showing animation let me add this uh, attribute here copy then after add it here then after add uh, the duration time paste similarly so 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 paste it here let me make this up save this similarly we can see the result on browser see so this is the animation Similarly, you can add animations for other cards too, right? Based on your uh, requirement. So that is about uh, using EOS library in our uh, websites. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching, guys. If you are new to my channel, then please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next video.